in a world for friends one mission to bring freedom to everyone involved dude what the fuck are you doing I'm doing a thing for the podcast dude, just say the name fine it's the freedom friends podcast <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck right. boys. So we're live. Fuck boys. It's Thursday. We got sticks. We got drinks. John, we're what the fuck are we about to do? We're about to fucking masturbate. With some <sighs> CBD fucking lotion from owellness.us. Yes. Use massage that code. oil. The massage, uh, massage oil. oil. Did you fucking get it straight? Hey, man. They got both. They got both and freeze gel. Yeah, but and you know as well as I do that lotion gets, lotion gets sticky if you take too long. They got all that shit. That is <laughs> weird. What the fuck are you doing? Isn't that weird? It does take a while. Dude, sometimes, I don't know. sometimes you fucking. It takes long longer if it gets sticky. That's true. Sometimes you want to watch the movie for the story and you're yeah. in for the ride. God, Jesus. Wow. Sometimes I like to pop at the same time as him. Yep. You know what I mean? <laughs> wow. It's like, it's, it's See, like I'm coming are you on one of the You're dudes watching spends... the wrong <laughs> type of movie. Are you, are you one of the guys that spends 45 minutes to find that 30 second clip? <laughs> you goddamn right. You yeah, got but fucking sometimes, hour and a half. Sometimes you find that 22 minute POV video and you're like, why is it going to be 22? Let's ride. Have you ever rocked with a fucking, with the VR because, set? Because that way no. I finish oh, at 22. Time. That's a good time. <laughs> My kids have VR. I don't know, borrow it. I got one you can borrow. You it's, use your phone on it. It's where uh, it works. Uh, uh, <laughs> anyways. Oh, that's for the theater mode. Have you actually watched VR porn? No. It's terrifying. Yeah, yeah that's what you told me. Because you look like, around the other way and a dick's about to smack <laughs> you in the face. <laughs> it's terrifying. Yeah, fuck all that mess. Yeah. Uh, so but anyways, if you do here? like those fucking, if you do like those uh, uh, CBD products, <laughs> even with all that nastiness going on, check uh, out ohwellness.us. Use that code FREEDOMFRIENDS25. Screw yourself that 25% off. We think they're yes, still a quarter after off had your a, order. After you've had I, a stick coming at your face, if you want to put a stick in your mouth, you that's can go right. check out warfighter.com. <laughs> Tobacco.com. I will put my stick in your mouth. That's right. Use that code 15 Freedom off. Friends. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Use that code Freedom Friends. Screw yourself that sweet 15% Ooh. off discounts. I just heard it with I, I heard I it know. with yeah, <laughs> And if you like more texture in your stroke than you do smooth, you can go check out uh, our friends at Grill Your Ass Off and get some spice for your extracurricular activities. <laughs> there you go. There you go. It's good for all your meats. That's right. You all use, your meats and even your veggies. And the code over there is FF Foxtrot Foxtrot 15. Yeah. Just careful with the mango habanero. Yeah. That's all I gotta yeah. say. That's gonna that's gonna sting <laughs> yeah. you willy a bit. That's but, gonna make uh, your butthole pucker. But from what I understand, their spices are good for both your meat and veggies. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So yes. hey man. I'm into, I'm into it. Total package. You just put hey. it all over your eggplant. So all bills right. are paid. John already said we're masturbating. <laughs> Boys, that, we got Now that we've used all of our sponsors for a dick joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We got a debate topic. Didn't we just have a conversation off air that we were going to try to not do that? <laughs> <laughs> we never said anything about not doing dick jokes. Um, the, 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 I think we did. I think that was the basis of the conversation. Dude, <laughs> the debates are called master debates. It's a dick joke in and of itself. Yeah. You John, literally just, I just wanted to put it out there. Pass me that whistle, pig. <laughs> <laughs> we said, we'll chill on the dick jokes on the podcast. The the debates are dick joke time. God damn it. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, I have I have the debate topic tonight. The, the veteran, veteran's got it. The veteran of veterans. Well, I'm Scott. John doesn't got it. I'm Scott's Scott. got it. I'm the Scott. veteran of veterans has a debate a topic. Yeah. So, um, to take the vaccine or to not take the vaccine. Oh. Fucking, I can say right now, go fuck yourself with that. I ain't doing so, it. So I, I, the reason I want this to be a debate topic is because I have very mixed feelings about it. And I will, I will start this off because it's my topic and I've had this I conversation. Have some thoughts. So my thought is the army has put so much bullshit into my body and I'm still alive, motherfucker. That, uh, and I think, I think, I think the world will become where to travel internationally, to travel, uh, to go into this place, to do this event, to whatever. You're going to have to be required to have this vaccine. Let me see your papers. People say right? that this vaccine was rushed, <laughs> right? It was, it was no rushed. Ticket. <laughs> <laughs> that this vaccine was rushed, you know, and I've heard very good arguments on both sides of this, right? Okay. Uh, I err on the side of like, I should just take this vaccine, get it over with and be on with my life. Right. But I have heard some very compelling arguments as to why I shouldn't take this vaccine. And one of the best arguments that I've heard is that COVID has a very, very, very high recovery rate. Yes. Right. Yeah. So 
why would I take a vaccine that's unknown to prevent me from getting a a, a virus that is like almost a hundred percent recoverable in my age and yeah in whatever you're, bracket, right? You're essentially at the flu shot argument. Yeah, yeah. And, and so, like, and, and for, you go go to the flu shot thing, right? I've taken flu shots. Well, the, in the, some years. The thing that a lot of people don't realize about years, the flu we can shot. make this argument about the placebo effect yeah, too. But but the thing that right. a lot of people don't realize about the flu shot is every year it's only between thirty and seventy percent effective. Yeah, yeah. So and they don't say that because it mutates. It does. Like the flu so, mutates yeah, just the like flu COVID. Strain actually right. changes. COVID has mutated. So so my thoughts on taking the vaccine are, I feel like I should do my civic duty and take this vaccine. But on the other hand, I think there's more of a, a risk of taking this vaccine than there is of actually getting COVID. Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm 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 literally torn about what so, to do. I've had this conversation uh, recently, actually, with people that are in, in high-risk groups. Mm. Um, and essentially, the way that the whole conversation went was, if you're in a high-risk group, right, that means that you have underlying health issues that are going on. Right. And that, that your life span is going to be drastically reduced because of other things that are going on in your body. Right. Diabetes. Whatever it is, right? So Most of it's respiratory or in, autoimmune in, orders. In that case, if this vaccine has a 90, 94, 95 plus Which percent kind of efficacy <laughs> rate, the people in the high-risk categories should probably seriously consider getting this vaccine. But like myself, for instance, I'm 38 years old. I'm fairly in good health. I have no underlying health conditions. I don't know what the long-term effects of this vaccination are going to be because it was, I'm not saying it was wrong, but they had a very short amount of time to figure out what which, this vaccine which, was. Okay. Let's talk about the, let's talk about the, let's talk about the time frame for a minute, right? Everybody says this typically it takes seven years, 10 to 12, 10 to 12, whatever. Right. But I, I've worked in the in the military in the government and i understand absolute bullshit as far as time frames are concerned right like if you want to get something done and you cut out the bullshit you can get it done a lot quicker so so i non-value under, added time i understand that this being a necessity and them cutting out all the red tape okay it still might be safe it still might be like, I will agree with you right? on a point of cutting out the bullshit. Yeah. The thing is, is that when you actually look at vaccines and how they're built, the 10 to 12 year time frame is not on red tape. The 10 to 12 year time frame is to make sure that any iteration of the virus, that they're actually able to account for the breadth of the mutation. Yes. That's where the timeline actually comes in is to watch how the virus actually develops. Right. So they'll come up with a treatment plan to contain it. But coming up with a vaccine that's actually preventative requires a certain amount of time for you to actually figure out how the virus behaves. Yeah. That's the 10 to 12 year timeline hey, is actually to figure so, out how the virus behaves. So for example, th there was a, there's a test of this virus or of this vaccine that hasn't been done. How does it affect pregnant women? Well, this could not have been tested because there hasn't been a time frame where a pregnant person has it well, you could, it, but the baby would be like a month old at this yeah, point. Yeah. Well, but yeah. that's if it happened, which it wasn't ready nine months ago. So. Oh, you're talking about the vaccine itself. Yeah. Yeah. The vaccine so is it, not old enough to actually figure out how yeah. it would impact. So you're, you're going to see it in 10 months. Right. So I've, I've, you know, like, hmm. I, I'm so, I'm, I'm, I'm so with torn you on the with tear. I, I love the idea that we were actually able to accelerate this kind of research, the, which I think the it, problem I have is that virology like actual virology you can't do this fast and we've already seen a mutation in the strain it's already not the same virus that we locked down in march for. right hey, it's Jess, already a different virus Jess, yeah. do you buy the first generation of any iphone no i don't buy the first generation of anything i won't buy the first year car comes out i don't buy the first generation of any tech why at all because it's not going to work there's going to be some. And the problem is, <laughs> I understand this. The problem is, is that you can't do a firmware update for what you just injected me with. Yeah. Like the other problem I have is here's my other beef. I, I agree with John 
on the idea of high risk environments. The thing is, if there's an if over you're 90 years old, if you're over 50 and obese, if you're 90 years old, then get the vaccine and you're in a high, high risk category. Sure. Right. You probably don't have any long term effects to worry about. The thing is, yeah. is that you should not be making long medical, term is death. Right. But and you're, making you're going anyway. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. But making lifelong medical decisions on minority is not how this works. So you have to pull baseline health. So baseline health, me, John, you, Mikey, Justin, Dave, all of us that are, you know, could we be healthier? Yeah, but we're not really at risk individuals. Right. Which is the bulk of society Yeah, is an over 99% recovery rate or resistance rate to this virus. Yeah. 99.9964. So. Right. The vaccine, however, in a healthy individual has a 94% effect efficacy rate, which means that my natural immune system is more effective than what you want to give me. <laughs> right. So that means that you want to put a pseudo live strain because this is how vaccines work. Yeah. Right. You want to put a pseudo live strain of a virus that I was 99% resistant to into my system that has a 94% of efficacy rate. So if you're saying that this is a life threatening virus, you want me to give up 5% efficacy for your vaccine. There's probably an average to that. Sure. Well, let's average it out. 95 and 99 is going to bring you to like 97.8% efficacy right. rate. So you're still asking me to give up 3%, 3% of my, my natural immune well, system. What if, what if it's for the vaccine? But, but does it work that way? Or is it like you have now a, no, it's because I'm introducing something into your immune system that you've probably already been exposed but, but, to. But, and it fought but off. when you get, when you take the vaccine, you're not worried about, you're not worried about for me, taking the vaccine would make it less likely that I would get the coronavirus. It's not how it works. But so I'm more worried about the, this is the same reason I'm more I worried don't about, get a flu shot, but yeah. I'm, I'm more worried about the side effects. Right. So speaking well, of and that's effects, the other thing, the right, 10 the, people that they originally tested on four of them got fucking Bell's palsy. That's what I'm I was sorry. Going yeah. I will take even a two week flu, which typically the downtime for anybody that gets COVID. And I understand the first it's three days suck and it sucks and whatever. I get it. Like I'm not downplaying how uncomfortable it is to get it. I will take three or four days of this fucking sucks. And then two weeks of I've got a cough and, and I've got to recover from Bell's this palsy. over fucking Bell's palsy. Right. Yeah. So, like, so, so a, when they tested the fucking vaccine, a 40% chance in, of getting Bell's they, palsy, they tested it over in England. Yeah. First of all, let me get the joke out of the way. 28 days later started in England. Just saying, <laughs> but I digress. Um, they tested it in so England. So did World War Z. And there was a 40, to Jazz's point, there was a 40% fucking Bell's palsy fucking side effect. Fuck that, man. Which is recoverable, but not always. Not always. No. Right. And, and, and unless you want to fucking look like goddamn Sly Stallone for the rest of your fucking life. De devil's advocate. Nobody knows what causes Bell's palsy. True. Yeah. It is It is a, it's but some if, sort of weird paralysis phenomenon. If there's four of us here. Yeah. One if, of us is going to fucking, two of us are probably going to get it. If, if, if all four of us take the vaccine and none of us have ever had fucking Bell's palsy before and all of a sudden we get it. Yeah. Fucking, I'll fuck, bet folding money right? that exactly. uh, it's the fucking vaccine. But like, so, you know what I mean? Like, to me, vaccines. that comes back down to timeline. So you're telling me in nine months you developed a vaccine for what they are calling. I would say a novel uh, virus. I would which say, is, I would say, but I would say not nine months. They developed this in four, four, four months, months, four months, because they had time to produce it and it's sitting there waiting for approval. It's in. Yeah. No, it's in Portage. They're shipping it out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah it came to San Antonio today. Yeah. 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 Pfizer has shipped it. Like, yeah. I, I don't understand how if standard virology practice would be 10 to 12 years of development for vaccine. I don't care if you cut out the red tape. There's not. 11 years and eight months worth of red tape to get a vaccine function. No. Virology requires a certain period of testing yeah. to actually understand how the virus works. And we're already seeing a mutation in this. So yeah, this has got political motivations written all over. This it. is also 
So, so this is still a Corona virus. And yeah. the so reason that it says you, 19 what? on the back of it is just the year that they named it. Yeah. So, yeah. Cause, so, it, cause it's novel. It's, it's, it's SARS cov two. That's the virus. Right. It's just not as catchy as COVID. It's a, it's a, it's but a it's SARS cov two. It's, it's a novel. It's a novel Corona virus, yeah. which just means it's an adaptation of the Corona virus. So what do you it's guys, severe acute respiratory. So what are you guys going to do disease. if they make it so inconvenient for you to live life because you haven't had the virus. So if the, I have to be inconvenienced or get partial paralysis of my fucking face, I'm going to go with inconvenience. Yeah. See, the way my First Amendment is set up and the way my Constitution is set up, they can go fuck themselves. Okay. Okay. So let, let's, yeah. let's, Honestly. let's say this is six months later. Just like anti-vaxxers. Anti-vaxxers are allowed to not send their children to school. Let, let, and, or to send their kids to school with a waiver because they don't want them to get fucking polio vaccine. Right, I get this. You know what I mean? Let, let's like, say let's say this is six months from now, right? And we've had we've had hundreds of thousands of millions of people get this virus or get this vaccine. Yeah, right. And nobody's and and there's no side effects, whatever. Then that, I'll eat my words. But my my fucking my life and my family's well being so, is more uh, important to me and, than the rest of the fucking country. So, so are you saying you're not going to take the first wave of this? And, you're going to wait. I don't to take see? first gen anything and, and, Dude, yeah, until, I, until I it comes fucking, to until it comes to a point where I can't do something because to to progress my livelihood. I'm not going to consider taking this yeah. because yeah. it's not There's something no that's guys. Oh, they're talking and, about fucking COVID passports. No, I know, but but like, I'll, no, no. Fuck here, listen, you. listen, yeah. listen. Hold on. So, well, 2004 was the not, last time I got a flu not shot. That's abnormal. 2004 is the last time I got a flu shot. I was in the military. I had to get. It. I didn't have an option. Right. You're but I haven't, got, I haven't gotten shot. one since I got out of right? the military. So that flu shot they gave me in 2004 is amazing because I haven't gotten the flu. Yeah. Right. <laughs> my my ex, my ex had the flu. I literally fucked the flu, and I didn't get the fucking flu. Whatever yeah. they gave me in two thousand four is fucking great. I don't know why they had to change it and adapt it and make it fucking different because people who get the flu shot still get the fucking flu. The last time I, I haven't gotten the, the fucking flu. The last time I got the flu was my last year in the military, right? which so was the last year I got the flu shot. I have I have sixteen years of of uh, of um, immunity. Not really the immunity, but of a fucking not really documentation, a track record. A track record of okay, I got that, and it, I have no well that I know of side effects, and I still haven't gotten the fucking flu. I okay, mean, fuck, I'm pretty sure now at that, this point I could snort anthrax and it'd be fine. Exactly. Well, that's like I've, but, that's but, like I've gotten the, that's, I've gotten the, the yellow the, fever system three times. But, sure. but that's an argument to just fucking take it. No, not first gen. Sorry, not first gen, man. Like even it. the anthrax fucking vaccination even took fucking what? It's like seven years yeah. before they fucking. And that was it. just no. The anthrax didn't come about until we were about ready to deploy to Iraq, and then boof, they had it. No, it's been around. Yeah, but no, it took it's like been seven years that. before they. No, fucking it was did around. It. It's just they didn't mandate it from military. Yeah. and yeah. It, it's it's been around longer than that. But, I mean, I, but I've also heard the other side of the argument, right? And the other side of the argument, and I'll play devil's advocate here for a second, is. If the majority of the population gets the vaccine, minus whatever fucking long-term effects or side effects that are out there, if the majority of the population gets it, whether they fall into that 94 or 95% that it's effective for, or they're in that 5 or 6% that it doesn't do shit, it increases that quote-unquote herd immunity across the board. Right. Right, and I understand that. I'm going to build upon what you're saying, bro. Mark of the fucking beast. I'm going to build. I might have had this one right. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to the- build upon what you're saying, John. And if if taking the vaccine allows society to reopen and be normal again, That's I, a- I'm all in because I but- think I think the risks of side effects are less damaging than this goddamn government shutdown bullshit that's fucking everybody over. I agree, but I need proof. Yeah, I, I, I need something. I think to, they're, they're going to use that, though. Yeah, to, I'm sorry. To, I'm injecting something into my need, body so that no, I don't have to wear a mask anymore. I need a reality. That's a, that's I need a, a far uh, fucking reach. I need, I don't know. I need yeah. a reality TV show where somebody has full-blown fucking COVID and they give the dude the fucking vaccine. They stick him in a fucking room with that guy for fucking two weeks. 
and we see what the fuck happens. Yeah. Like I need Yeah, I need to see I, it, I don't dude. need a yeah. fucking a medical review. I don't need a fucking piece of paper. So, I need to physically because we're in fucking so, 2020. So are you are you are you saying I want it live streamed. Are you saying that after <laughs> Truman show after <laughs> after six months of you seeing millions of people get the vaccine? I'll eat my words. Uh, uh, yeah. So you'll change your mind after six months. Yeah. Yeah. But yes. right now there's not enough empirical evidence fact, for me to trust. Ten months, Cause I'm curious about the babies. I'm curious about right. pregnant. I'm yeah. curious, curious about yeah. pregnancy. I need to see yeah. empirical evidence. I'm sorry, but I like a needle I, will not touch me. Will not touch my children. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if like, they were like, your kids can't go to school unless they get this. Well, my kids aren't going to fucking school then. Yeah. I, I think I don't, fucking I, easy day. I don't yeah. disagree. I think too much of this is fucking fear driven too. Uh, prior to this, everybody fucking hated big pharma and government and da, 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 da. And now all of a sudden there's a vaccine and everybody's like, oh, fuck, they fixed it. Yeah. Literally, Pfizer yeah. was the fucking devil two Come years ago. Here's, right. here's my thing. You know here's I mean? my thing with and big pharma. And now they're rolling it out. Right. And it's like, so oh, fuck here's, here's my thing with big pharma, right? You got COVID going on right now and everyone's jumping out their fucking ass to find a fix for it, right? couple hundred thousand people died in the United States. That's fucking horrible. I get it. How long has like, I don't know, AIDS or but, cancer? But John, the couple hundred thousand people that have died, if you look at the overall death rate in the United States from 2017, oh, it's a fucking 18, 19, yeah, 2020, it's actually gone down. 2020 is on track to be down yeah, in yeah. overall deaths. No, I agree. 100%. So you can't say that this pandemic means Shit. No, I get yeah. it. But like you have all these other major factors where millions of people die a year. Why isn't anybody causing a scene about that? I don't understand this fucking. You know I, don't I, mean? understand I don't understand. Why? I'm telling like, you, I don't understand this fucking quote pandemic. Yeah. Because. Overall deaths if it's a are pandemic, down. How this come year? I'm not shooting fucking zombies yet? That's right. all right. I want to know. Yeah. I'll go back to your human, your herd immunity argument though. Mm -hmm. When you were playing devil's advocate. One of the downsides to viral vaccines, yeah. not disease vaccines, yep. viral vaccines, is that viruses are living organisms. Yeah. Yeah. Living organisms, and this is just fucking science. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's right whether you like it or not. Living organisms adapt. Yeah. We adapt, we change, we overcome, yeah. we evolve, we do all that stuff. That's why you have mutations of strains. Yep. Single celled organisms can do that way fucking faster. Than multi-celled complex organisms. So Guess if you are. start, guess what we are? Multi-celled complex so organisms. So if you start creating, but you managed to change from a monkey to you in no time. I, but if you a couple million I, years. So <laughs> if we go into the herd immunity argument, where you're introducing this vaccine, if vaccines like this worked against protein sheathed viruses, they wouldn't. You would not have to get a flu shot every year. It'd be they like do MMR. That, yeah. You'd get your you'd fucking get it boop. once. Yep. And it would be done. It'd be like smallpox. Right. You get it once right. and yeah. you're good to, go. good to go. The problem is, so your human, your herd immunity argument with if everybody has it, then we're good to go. What you're actually going to do is in the interim because of how rushed this was. And I guarantee you they're operating off of a virology model, model that came from early COVID. Yeah. You're injecting people with a non, a non effective modern COVID strain. Uh, you're, shot. Gonna, you're gonna start it over. You're, all you're gonna much. do is you're gonna make it to where now you're immune to a strain of this shit that doesn't even exist anymore. Yeah, because it and, evolved already, and it's gonna. So I, I you, guarantee so, you. So what's your guys's fears of side effects? Bell's palsy. Bell's palsy. It's a pretty <laughs> fucking decent fear. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's one that's, of, a, one of that's my a fears, valid argument. One of my fears that we haven't talked about yet is the fear of the people that are trying to to talk about. You have to listen to the science. Right. And my biggest fear about all of that, the scientific method, my biggest fear about <laughs> all of that, everything no, it's is when you have a tranny trying to tell you, you just have to listen to the science. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> you so talk about science? You're a dude. <laughs> you let's talk about science. You're a dude. No, I'm not. I'm a girl. No, you're not. <laughs> motherfucker. According no, to science. Hey, according to no, science. You're not. You guys are you all wrong. You got an X and a Y, motherfucker. <laughs> you guys are all wrong. Yeah. It doesn't come down to boys and girls anymore. It's just dicks and vaginas. That's the only two dicks and vaginas. I don't I care. Fucking, I don't care what you call yourself. Do you I have agree. a dick or do you have a vagina? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because that's the bottom line. I want to know what your downstairs looks like, guy. My thing is, is that <laughs> nice tits, bro. I'm all about the science. I actually have more faith in scientists that say we don't know, because yeah. that means they're questioning even the results they've come up with. Yeah, and fuck through Fauci scientific and flip flopping bullshit. 
I don't know so, why the fuck he became the fucking end all be all fucking guy. Because that's, that's all he's done for the past twenty years. He's in a government you know position. You can't get fired. You know this. How many fucking sergeants major are fucking retarded? All of them. <laughs> a lot of them. All of them. You know what I mean? And they've been in their position yeah. for twenty some fucking years. The that, biggest that problem I have me, is dude. like we no longer. There's not a general public application of science anymore. What we do is we go like, well, this guy's in a position of authority. So you're just drinking the Kool-Aid. There's not actually, you're not actually seeing the science on it. It's just like, well, it says doctor in front of his name. That's right. got to be the science. Yeah, well, you can have a doctor that tell you that magic fucking stones will heal your fucking cancer, but that's not fucking true. Like, it, 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 this, just because it's sorry. a doctor of philosophy. Sorry, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> so but the, the same can be said for like why they're why they're doing these restaurant shutdowns but show me the fucking science well you, you and know. i had lunch together today we Scott, did we did and we had to wear masks to get in the door yep and then we said as soon as we sat at the table the masks came off, off yep and she came and served us our food and all the flatware was in little plastic shit and stuff because i'm not allowed to use a fucking metal fork like an adult you, but like <laughs> you didn't know like COVID can only touch you outside your table. No, and through no, the doorway. No, no, it's in doorways. It's, That's it's, where it's at. It's doorways. only if there's food on the table. If there's food. Yeah. That gives you a bubble. Because if I go to a bar and sit at a table, but there's no food. Oh, now you're done. Uh, yeah. It's fucking I, over. No. I like what they do in, like, zero. In, in downtown <laughs> areas. What they do is you can't eat inside anymore. So what they do is they, they put tents. They put a tent outside. Yeah. And then you can eat inside That's the tent. That's not even downtown. Yeah. I so live. They, they I live. Out, they took inside and moved outside. it outside. And, oh no, you're fine now. I bet you're good. I live north side fuck? San Antonio, and there's a BJ's Brew House three huh? miles from my place. I had lunch there with a potential client earlier this week, and literally, you could go in the restaurant eat, and outside they had the only way to describe it is a goddamn temper tent. Like yeah. it was a temperature controlled, yeah, air conditioned and heated closed fucking tent. With tables in it, so, so if you didn't inside. want to sit inside, right. you could go outside. out right. to the... I'm like, so the recirculated air, air-conditioned, closed-in facility outside is somehow different from the recircled air, temperature-controlled, sealed system? In what the fuck? Like, how... I want to know how in the fuck we now have the availability to all of the accumulated knowledge the human race has ever fucking developed in our pocket... And we have somehow come down to the fact that we are buying off on the idea that a fucking mask that is the equivalent filter system of the fucking sock on my foot. Is this how did the fuck did we become this goddamn stupid? You ever watch the movie Idiocracy? It's terrifying how <laughs> if you haven't watch it again, it's, it's terrifying. Oh, my God. And uh, I don't give a fuck true. True. what yeah. side of the aisle you're on. I have seen so much. And I am using this term as it's defined so much retardation of the intelligence of mankind in the last five years that I weep for the future of our fucking population. And I hope to God there is actually a galactic federation because give me a one way <laughs> ticket off of this fucking regression of society that I am seeing in man. It, it fucking terrifies me. He's not wrong, kids. I don't He's know. I don't wrong. know what's better. I don't know if that little rant was better when he then in episode like two or three when he described that drink fucking <laughs> oh, the drink was better. Oh, i don't know that was pretty fucking good <laughs> i don't get it and i don't give a fuck who you voted for who you pray to or whatever if you do not pull your collective heads out of your collective asses and start figuring out shit for your own instead of getting big asshole uh, instead of getting spoon fed the shit from whatever fucking politician you have turned into a fucking rock star and start thinking for yourself, then you know what? Be gone with fucking all of you. Yeah. And let's just go back to the fucking Wild West. And if you can, if you are a fucking faster shot than I am, then the land is fucking yours. But other than that, get the fuck out of my way or go crawl into whatever fucking dark hole that you need to exist in because you have no contribution to society whatsoever and you need to regress back to the solo existence that you probably should have never been born into. Amen, buddy. <laughs> Amen. So back to the debate. So, no, I'm not getting injected. <laughs> right, yeah. John. Yeah. Injected or not? No. Mikey. No fucking way. I'm probably going to be a yes. Yeah. But I I won't be the first wave because I'm not in a high risk category. Yeah. So I will be able to sit back and see what happens. Yeah. 
And, Do they have uh, a category for 2,500 year old people? Uh, Are you really that worried as an immortal? <laughs> no, like, I mean, you I, made it through the plague. I, what the I fuck is this? I literally think. <laughs> I literally I, think I, if like, I don't, bubonic can't be I, shit to this, man. I Come think on. that if I don't get this goddamn vaccine, I won't be able to live life the way I want to. And I would rather take my chances with some goddamn vaccine than I would just wanting to live my goddamn life. Well, I tell you what, buddy. Scott, when you get Scott it, listens to the news too much. If They're you get Bell's him. palsy because I sit next to you, I'll make sure I reach over once in a while and push your cigar back into your mouth. For <laughs> we, we talked about this early, if we I, did. earlier. If I get Bell's palsy, I'll just mount that shit in my mouth and I'll let my droopy fucking lips just keep it there. <laughs> And then I'll constantly be breathing through a filter. And do you it, know what's great is that even with the burn off the goddamn even with COVID. the vaccine, we're all gonna have to wear fucking masks anyways, and nobody will be able to see your paralyzed fucking face. Exactly. So, exactly. Because yep. if you think that shot is gonna make it God. to where everything goes back you to normal, you want to talk about the worst you fucking blowjob of your life, especially not with who's coming into the presidency. You know what? Whether whether these lawsuits or whatever hold Nobody or not. It doesn't matter come anyway. January who the fuck the president is. These masks are not going fucking anywhere. You, wanna, you are living in the new world. You want to talk this about this? This is it. This you, is the standard now. You want to talk no. about getting the worst blowjob of your life? Meet a girl with Bell's palsy. <laughs> you like half a blowjob? Worst or the best? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> You're only gonna get a, you're only gonna get a half a seal. That's like a humidor that only seals on one side. <laughs> like, you, might you, might a, you might get a better seal. It's like, you know when you put a shot back like, in a puddle and it makes that noise? It's yeah, what it's gonna sound you'll have, like. You'll have like <laughs> one wet ball from the drool uh, uh, coming out yeah. one side. <laughs> and you're not gonna be Why able to get that right look up where you make so eye wet? contact. Like, uh, you, you because drool one eye is gonna be all fucking off to one side and shit. <laughs> nice. Yep. Dude, Caitlin's gonna be upset. Well, that's a lot of lazy eyes. <laughs> She's gonna be crying like yeah. fuck. Somebody's gonna check on Fucking. her. <laughs> Look at the mountain. The mountain got Bell's palsy like four years ago. Uh. Still walking around looking old. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. Every time I see him on a video, I'm like, he's gonna ask for a baby Ruth in a minute. Just fucking wait. Just <laughs> fucking wait for it. The baby Ruth. <laughs> Bunch of sloth looking motherfuckers running around. All right. Well, well, there you have it. There you have it. Yeah. No, I think time will tell when I it comes down to the, the rails vaccine there. part I apologize, of things. Boys. Fuck that, dude. Don't Fucking apologize for being you. God I, I think time will tell when it comes down to the vaccine. I think I really do. Um, I think that in the next couple months, we're really going to see uh, kind of what happens with it. Um, yeah, we're going to see a whole lot of paralyzed face motherfuckers. <laughs> or, or, or I hope I'm or wrong. We won't. I, I seriously hope I'm fucking wrong. Yeah, no, dude, like I, I hope said, I'm wrong. If, if it works out, honestly, I'll eat my words. This it, is one of those it, situations where I will happily come on back it, on this episode perfect, and go like, when it, I got it, my shot today, everything was great. In, like, a, per, in a perfect fucking, world, the vaccine happens. Life goes back to normal. You know what I'm hoping? I hope so. I really hope that we find out that you have to get the vaccine for internet for fucking inner space travel because the fucking Galactic you know what, Federation you, you know is showing I, you up. You know what I find that's really fucked up, though? Huh. Is it the where, where was the first vaccine in the United States administered? To like an 82-year-old woman. Where? I don't know. New York? Oh, the, like. The that. guy who, I will never take this vaccine. Yeah. 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 And, and it was given in New York. Fuck you, Governor Cuomo. Oh, dude, that guy's a piece of shit. Fuck well, you. No, that, that solidifies the fact that there's unbelievable mm. amounts of political motivation yes. behind yeah. everything that's going on. Actually, now, if they tell right me now. that I have to get the shot before I can fucking join the Galactic Federation. I'm Why would you, up. though? Why yeah. would you? you know who, so I can leave. You know, no, but yeah. you know who doesn't get the credit that he deserves? Do you think for, COVID uh, is affects aliens? For vaccinations? Maybe it's not for, maybe it's not for COVID. Of, maybe that uh, vaccine is actually some inner space virus that we have to of, get shot uh, for to be able to fucking strap Who's that? See? George Washington. Yeah. Yep. People do not give George Washington the credit that he deserves, but he actually developed the, the smallpox, smallpox vaccine. vaccine. You know, you know what really? how he Which was for it? military application, by the way. You know, he did it huh. with a knife. He fucking dipped a dirty knife into a fucking a dead soldier smallpox and stabbed another one. And that's how they came up with the fucking smallpox vaccine. Holy shit. Because that's what vaccines are. That, You're just given a, yeah, a fucking yeah. almost dead version smallpox, of the virus. They literally take a needle and stab you seven times yeah. to fucking give you. Yeah. yeah. You know, but George Washington does not get the credit he deserves for that. That motherfucker just wanted I to think, stab somebody. I think he that's just, all that was. I think he fucking just, I, dude. He, he just no, did you know that. what? He does. He did get the credit. He was like, come here, PFC. He got the credit he deserved. Just, he gave that to the guy he wanted gone. He he got the credit deserved. <laughs> it just happened to like work out the other way. He is the only person in the history of the United States that every single day of every single year 
gets stuffed into G strings <laughs> of strippers. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Fucking true. If that, God damn, I'm going to raise my glass. Oh, yeah. Here's to you, George, and here's to all you fucking assholes. Thank you for being my freedom friend. And uh, like, share, subscribe. Whether you get the vaccine or you don't, we still love you. Yeah, we I do. get it. Situation dictates, and God damn it, we love you regardless. Uh, check out Obama. That's what being free US. is all about. That's right. That's freedom. That's what we're talking about, man. Make your own fucking decision because you're a grown up. And you're you have the fucking freedom. And don't to listen make to us. Decisions. We're not fucking doctors. Yeah, yeah. right. Like this yeah. is uh, everything that we're talking about this is, is, all is personal opinions. opinions. I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express once. Though. <laughs> you <laughs> and me both. That, that counts for something. Uh, but yeah, fucking you know, go to warfightertobacco.com, Grab some sticks. Uh, they don't have the vaccine anymore, but that's because it obviously worked. It worked fucking great. <laughs> hey, has anybody? I want to know this. Has anybody, oh my god, that's a good fucking question. Has I know where you're going. who smoked the vaccine cigar Got gotten, COVID. gotten the COVID? You know what? I have not gotten it since I smoked a vaccine. I have not. I haven't, I haven't either. either. I have not. So yeah, let us know if you smoked the vaccine and got the COVID. Let me know. Oh yeah. god. So, uh, but you know what? We can see whether or not it's more effective than ninety four percent. Right. <laughs> we only released five thousand sticks. Yeah. yeah, that's a good control group. That's yeah. better than the ten they shot up. <laughs> Damn right. There you go. If Fox. it worked, we'll, we'll bring and, it back out. And I'm willing to bet that nobody got fucking Bell's palsy. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you got it, what were the side effects? Like, I want to know. Yeah, come on. All right. Did it have to do with the whiskey or was it the random cigar? boners? All right. So you know what? Go fucking be Wait, free. You got that too. Go they, free. They, they weren't random. <laughs> be free. Do you? Like that's what we're subscribe. fucking down to. Tell your mom. Tell your friends. Tell, Tell your, your mom's, mom's friends. fucking friends. God damn it. Yeah. John. That if she needs to get poked with a needle, I got her. <laughs> <laughs> she beat me too, but I was going to say John. <laughs> uh, he'll vaccinate you. Yeah. He'll vaccinate you, right? Uh, yeah. Fucking. You know whatever. what? You know what's worked for me so far? Three little three, words of wisdom. Three little things have been keeping me healthy. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Scott, why don't you hit us with the first one? Ooh, drink on. What the Close. fuck? Close. Smoke? How long were you doing this show? <laughs> I, know. I, I don't know which I like better. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's try this again. There smoke you go. on. Smoke, smoke on. I'll say drink on. John? God, God damn, damn it, it, boys. <laughs> Freedom, Freedom the, the fuck, fuck on. on. <laughs> fuck. We'll see you guys later. Too many shots going around here. <laughs> right? Fucking COVID. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't get the vaccine already? <laughs>